Alright, hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my Let's Play on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This is going to be episode 39. In the previous episode, we just completed Ethel's Hero Quest and Noah has unlocked the new class for Ethel. I forget what it was called. I think it's like Variable Saber or something like that. Let me see. Flash Fencer. Don't know where I got that from, but Flash Fencer. We unlocked that, and only Noah can get, as of right now, only Noah can play it. In this episode, we are, con going, we are going to continue the main story quest by going to Colony 4 and speak with Ethel and are announcing and to announce our departure. Alright, let's get started. Hopefully there will be no more tongue twisters in the following, or as this video continues. Because I can only take so much. Alright, let's get to it. There has been some changes as of yet. Um, well, there has been some changes for... Here, one, one moment. I want to read this. I saw an old Ferranus gathering dust in Dana Desert. It's busted. It won't work anyways, right? No point in even going then. Ferranus Hulk. Nice. It's all making sense. Where are you guys? Are you guys like upstairs or something? As I was saying, there are some changes that we have made. Let me back out just a little bit. Uh, we have done an overhaul of almost everything we can. We got our video quality downscaled to 1080p. We are recording in high, higher definitions. So audio is pristine, the highest it can go. So we do have new equipment for audio coming in later though. I just couldn't help myself because it has like the playback, the playthrough, so I can listen to myself talk. <laughs> just to make sure I don't have to go through a post edit or just like make note of anything that I need to fix during the post edit. One moment. Alright Maxi, the secret to Ethel's strength is in her talent art. Her attack power goes up every time she uses it. Yeah, I know. Her attacking power? Oh wow. So that's her overall attacking power. Nice. Read the flow of battle well, and she virtually she's virtually unparalleled as an attacker. That said, she might end up inadvertently drawing enemies' attention in the process. Defenders have to be equally v vigilant. Yeah, that does sound like something that we need to be careful of. Um, as we continue, I did want to say that you know everything has been upgraded. We upgraded the my thumbnails too, so I've made it to where it's actually the same resolution that YouTube recommends. I couldn't do 1080p, but I got 720p. It looks Honestly, you can't tell the difference. Made the text a little bit more bolder. So overall, just like the beginning of this Let's Play, I was very, <laughs> very new. Didn't know what I was doing, but I, I have come a long way. We are 40 episodes, almost 40 episodes into the Let's Play for my first um, YouTube channel as a content creator. And we are just making strides of progress. Here we go. Once you enter the office, you'll be unable to include Ethel in the party. Huh. Maybe should I go exploring with Ethel? Should I? I don't know. I said I was going to progress to the main story. Yeah, let's just do that. There's no point in having Ethel in. I don't know. If I have Ethel in here, will I level up variable? Sorry. Will I, will I level up her class quicker? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. Well, I said I was going to progress with the story, so maybe next time. I have to ask before you go. Why is it that you stick together? Given what's what, we pretty much have to. Considering how everybody attacks us on sight now. At this point, I suppose it just panned out this way. You really think so? That's not really how it looks to me. Well, one thing's for sure. We were sworn enemies once. And yet, we all share the will to live in the now. Before becoming Ouroboros, I never realized. But that common will, it was reason enough to stick together. I see. Not everyone makes the choice to fight willingly. Lance said that you have to. Well, right now, every one of us has to. 
There's no question it would be better if they didn't. Your journey may have started out of necessity, but now you're pushing forwards towards a common goal. And that, that might be all we want, and all that we wish the world could be. What we wish it could be. You're heading out as well. As soon as we're done here, I'll make for the castle. What? You forget, I am the commander. We haven't revolted against our nation, so I have to report in. Ethel, are you sure? Oh, don't worry. I'll be leaving you out of it. That's not it. The consul earlier turned Mobius. Were it to... If you mean that monster, I'm well aware of the risk. Then why? Because it's my responsibility to those I command. As for the Consul, we can say he died in an accident. And you can't do it remotely. Now that the Consul and Flame Clock are both lost to us, I have to make a report and not over comms. I have to requisition more supplies, too. And what if... what if they fit you with a new clock? <laughs> I can worry about that then. You're fine with it, really. Don't get preoccupied with us. Keep to your path. Follow it, wherever it may lead you. Life is short. I suppose. Hey, while we're all still here, one more word of warning. Hmm? The Consul was attempting to remove you from the picture. In light of that, you'll likely come up against hostility. But listen, you should keep engagement to a minimum. Kevis or Agnes, that goes for both of them. But if we break their clocks, just like with Colony 4 here, they would... well, they would be free, wouldn't they? You'd do well to remember not everyone thinks the same as I do, even within this colony. Many still haven't come to accept their new reality. Ah. Uh. To make things even more fraught, in other colonies, there are those who are more than willing to fight, as you'd expect. So it's no use appealing to their sense of compassion, or hoping they'll treat us fairly, is that it? <sighs> yes, precisely. You will change the fate of others just by virtue of coming into contact with them. It's quite the burden. You may not want the responsibility. A burden, perhaps. All that said, you get embers on your coat, you have to brush them off. If push comes to shove, do not flinch. Do whatever it takes, for the greater good. I wish you all a smooth and fruitful journey. Boris, huh? If only we could have been there as well. We should check the route data again, make sure we're on the right path. We are on course for Sword March. But first, we'll need to take the southeast road to, through the Ribby Flats. Uh, yes. That's the route that Ethel recommended. Correct. She said the battlefronts are pretty static at the moment, but do we have any intel about colony deployment? As far as Ethel and Colony 4 is concerned, we've got a pretty good idea. But what about the others? I wouldn't expect any shenanigans all, all the way out here. In any case, we mustn't let our guard down along the way. Danger could be lurking anywhere in this background, so insecurity stalks us. Not much we can do about that, though. Ah, come on, man. We'll muddle through. Let's hope so. 
Hey, I mean, if we do run into another calling, isn't it necessary? It isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, are you sure about that? It doesn't matter if we run into Agnes or Kevis. Either one of them means getting into a dust up. True, but what I mean was, if we destroyed their flame clock, we'd set everyone free, like we did for Colony Four. Easy to say. Well, sure. I mean, if conditions allow it. If we are brushing off Amber's, we'll have no choice in the matter. That's right. Hey, maybe it's better if we put off worrying about that until the time comes. You need speaking sense there. True, we can just react to the events as they happen, play it by ear. Gotcha, I'll apply myself to that. Liberating colonies. Destroying a colony's flame clock will liberate it, will liberate it from the cone soul's grasp. Once liberated, jeez, once liber liberated, the people are free to act how they like, opening up new info fragments to find. Hmm, okay. Every time a colony is liber... Li Jesus. <laughs> liberated, the warning level of its nation, Kevis or Agnes, will increase. Okay, got it. The warning level for each nation can be checked in the main menu. Got it. As the threat level increases, so too will the number of soldiers from each nation deployed on the field. Yikes. Did we finally get the affinity chart? Damn. <laughs> Halfway until like chapter thir uh, chapter two, we finally get that. That's nuts. You can check how various people in colony get along with each other by using the affin affinity chart. It is also sh it it also shows you a basic profile for each person. Okay. Main story says we have to go south from Ruby Flats. Okay. System unlocked warning levels. That is right. I want to do some exploration, but we'll leave that to the next episode. So we will try to progress the story just a little bit now, and then we might actually go back to... I don't know. Let me see. Let me see what the map looks like. Okay. I'm tempted to go exploring, or at least backtrack a little bit. I don't know. Should I? <laughs> Should I? I don't know what to do. So, let's actually... Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. We'll pick up stuff along the way. And how do we get up there? Guess we just do we just head okay let's try heading no this is a cliff okay so our options are we can literally just teleport here right yeah <laughs> oh let's go back to the point of interest and then pull down the um what you call it the, the ladder that way we can go up there in the future, or we can use it in the future without having to teleport. There we go. I did say I was going to fight some UMs and... but... Think this is how it goes. Okay. Have it. But I don't really recall where they're all at, so if I see one, I will I will fight it as I see it. Let's just do it that way. I can always break it up for story progression and continuation of exploration. Let's see. We have an ether deposit, or ether deposit, down over there. I don't know if I want to get that, though. I might just, like I said, continue exploring, not exploring, but progressing through the main story. So people are level 15, do they aggro? They do not. Very nice. That is rare. Let's say we fight it, yeah? Let's auto attack. Start out with the field attack. They got the break and topple. Follow up with the daze. It, it didn't get through. That's fine. Alright, release. Let's get the attack up. Get your boost speed demon, shadow eye. Let's get solid stite. You already got that. Maybe get some heal going. Everyone's full HP. Look at that. That's nice. 
Let's max that up. We got the evasion field up. Nice. Oh, do we aggro someone else? Yikes. Can we get the days going? Maybe the field evasion. Get the heal. Heal. Heal again. Maybe a power ring. Field evasion. Auto attack, guys. There we go. Field evasion. We got that daze. Nice. What do we get over here? What? Do we aggro again? You're joking me. No, I'm just gonna run away from that. That's that's ridiculous. I believe the Is that a Piranus? No, that's the mech. Little battle going on over there. Let's at least try to uncover the map as we go and not leave little strands of uncovered map. That's just going to drive my OCD crazy. We're, we're not really going to fight any EMs, but if we see a UM, we will fight a UM. And then if I, <laughs> if it freaks, well, if it, um, if I have a hard time, I'll probably just stop. But until then, I'll, I, I'll, I will probably do that. Jeez. I said I was going to fight you. Oh. Okay, whatever. Alright, group up guys. Group up, group up. In we go, in we go. What are you doing, dude? Come inside, thank you. Alright, disperse. We get the evasion out. Get the heal. Nice. Get your boss. Speed Demon, Shadow Eye, Solid Stance. Maximum voltage, maybe? No, we didn't get that yet. Oh, I'm looking for the evasion. There we go. Nice evade. We get the power ring too. Nice, nice. Three, two, one. Heal. There we go. Heal again. Well, there are a full HP, but we can get a hazy figure. Three, two, and... There we go. Do we need anything else? Days frontal bolt. Well, maybe? That didn't work. Okay, three, two, one, auto, attack up, maybe get that AOE heal, did that reach her? It didn't. Alright, group up guys, group up, group up, let's go, thank you, disperse. Wow, you literally sprinted out of the range, what's wrong with you, Uni, get out of here. I'm trying to, trying to give you guys stat boost, okay? Let's see, frontal lowdown, let's get it. Let's go. Evasion up. Do we need the heal? Let's go field regen, yeah? Target lock, um... No. But speed demon sounds good, so we're just gonna wait until it comes back up. Shadow eye, maybe? That's too late, he's already dead. I just wanted to send this soldier's husk. I don't know why you had to get in my way. Oh, they're playing from over there. Okay. I see it. Um, who do I want to play as? Let's join the battle. Yes, I can do whatever you want for no punk coin. I'll do it. Focus. Focus, guys. Group up, group up, group up. Group up. There we go. Can we get the AoE heal. We don't need it. But we do need Speed Demon, Shadow Eye, Solid Stance. They're, they're, pulling, they're pulling out their buffs like they're supposed to. Good for them. I want them to focus, though. Aggro is doing pretty well. We're not having issues there. Let's see, accuracy down, always nice. Can we get a AoE heal please? Twice, get that heal up. Either defense down, maybe evasion up. Okay, maximum voltage, let's see what we got, powering. We'll take it. I can follow by a heal. Three, two, and heal. Back to AoE heal and powering. Maybe evasion up. Let's group up, folks. Group up, group up, group up. Together. 
There you go, disperse. And get Lance HP up real quick. Next up, break and we're gonna get a topple. Can I hear the topple? There we go. Days, let's get it. Oh he missed. Great. Let's get the heal up. Heal over here. Three, two. Well we don't need it, we can just auto. There we go. Did he miss him out again? That's interesting. Okay. Never really understood that. The girl with the gull. Okay, guys, we are. I would classify this as exploration, but we are exploring with the intent of going towards the main story quest. So, during in the time time, I will probably put just exploration. And once I get to the to the destination point, I'll I'll list it as exploration. Oh no, um, story progression. Yeah. I wonder when's the best time to actually start sending out these husks. Do we? Is it whenever we unlock the affinity with them, or when they still have? Oh, look, a level forty. Oh no, yeah. Within our level, we will fight any UM within our level. Let me just uh, amend some words there. All right, let's go. Okay. This video is almost up. We should probably get to... Let's see. Oh wow, it's... F <laughs> it is far. Um, I might just end this video here in just a bit. Let me check out these two quest-related events. Okay. And we'll end the video from there because I want to go back and do some exploring. Once I enter the... The, the the ruby flats i just figured out you know hey this is probably the next area so we should at least try to finish exploring the previous area before continuing that little shiny item little shiny item over there i should oh it's worth level 40 we can probably sneak sneak past them right hopefully it's hopefully it's worth it i hope it's worth it please be worth it Level 18 um, elite monster. Mm, not really gonna mess with that, but I will come. I will go grab this though. Whatever this is. There we go. We hey, old. This old pointy shard. Right. This, I don't think that was worth it. Yes, sir. By that I mean absolutely not. That's exactly what we're doing. Let's see. We might need to go craft some gems. Um, we haven't checked out gems in a in a while. I think that's because we couldn't. We were uh, in our rest spots. They didn't offer that. Yeah, that or Rico just didn't want to do it. Who knows? Let's head over here see if we can find any nice new items. That looks like a UM. It's big enough to be a UM, right? Little question mark. Pick up whatever we can. For the sake of crafting gems, honestly, I think um, for coins, nope. The gold.
Sorry, I just can't take Lance seriously whenever he has, like, <laughs> the dual rings. Alright, heal, focus, and power ring. Let's follow up with, um, oh, hazy figure, maybe? Speed demon. Shadow's eyes has already been cast. We're looking at hazy figure in 3, 2, let's get it. We got power attack up in a little bit, 3, 2, and let's go. A we heal like sometime now. Thank you. Hazy figure, please. Yes. Um, Noah is getting a uh, beat down, and that does not look good. Can we get some heals, please? There we go. See, look what happens. And then the aggro goes to uh, Lance. That's perfect. That is beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. That's called strategy working. I love it. Okay, let's go. I do want them to D-Link pretty soon though. Here, let's go. D-Link. No, they, they come back with low HP, so the heal doesn't work. There we go. Oof. Come on, heal please. Thank you. And then we're going to interlink here. And then we are going to heal. Get that heal. Heal. Okay. We're going to D-Link. Power up. Let's go. Maybe speed demon in 3, 2, 1. Shadow Eye, guys. Come on. Give me Shadow Eye. Thank you. We're going to get another heal. Hazy field. The vision up. Oh, do we have regen? Nice. That regen field has gotten bigger. Our regen circle has gotten bigger. Is that because we ranked up or something? I don't know. Maybe because of th maybe that happens like rank 10. Not entirely sure. But we're going to group up real quick. Get that heal. We are going to D-Link, guys. D-Link, thank you. You do not need interlinked right now. Let's see, Hazy Field. We don't need to heal. We can get that power up. Let's see, Speed Demon, Solid Stance maybe. There we go, easy. Easy, guys. Crude fighting wastes almost all your potential. And you, good judgment, but you're a bad quitter. Just as I'd heard, sadly. I knew it. Colony Iota. I've heard about them. I bet you have. Commander Alexandria is famed for her keen wit. How dare you take Dame Alex's name in vain, scum! We've committed no crimes. I suppose you can prove that. Well, proving a negative isn't really possible. But what you think you know isn't the whole truth. Eat this, sucker! Ah! Dame Alex! Senna! I'm so there! Sorry, 
Sorry to go off book on you folks. Snuff. That's enough. It will suffice for this little trial. You struggle for your lives in vain. Uroboros criminals. Those lives will be mine. This I swear. There are a bunch of morons just as we'd heard. And rude to boot. Indeed. But that might make for a fun reception. What you think you know is not the whole truth. Huh. I do hope you'll tell. Looks like we managed to lose them. <sighs> what in Her Majesty's ever-loving cheekbones just happened back there? Simply put, our foes were well-versed in the art of war. Though their methods were inelegant, to say the least. Inelegant? Like war's ever pretty? They're official at stockpiling combat rewards. That's how they managed to climb to silver rank already. I heard they even share their supplies with other colonies. That seems kind of awesome. Sharing supplies? Why would they do that? It would prove beneficial in the long term. I th Creating debts to strengthen ties with other allied forces does open up your options, insofar as battle tactics are concerned. And if that leads to better results in combat, you can get your hands on even more goods. What I'm getting here is that they're trouble. Yes. And to make matters worse, Alexandria herself announced that they will come for us again. I bet us traitors would net them a hefty reward, huh? So how about we turn the tables on them? Punch their lights out! Listen to yourself, you doofus. We're talking silver here, yeah? Well, whatever we choose to do, there's something to bear in mind. Colony Iota's commando group is made up of four units. Regardless of the precautions we take, we have a high chance of encountering them. We should consider our approach carefully. Well, in that case... In terms of sheer power, they're the ones with the advantage. We should avoid a direct confrontation. If we could just dismantle those commando units, it would help lower the colony's capabilities. And it might give us an opening to strike? Yeah, if it comes to that. But it basically allows us to avoid fighting as much as possible, right? I like that plan. No objections from me either. Personally, I'd hope we don't even meet them. We've made some new friends. Well, that was a unexpected but nice surprise from Colony Iota. And we saw our next hero or a hero character. Alexandria and honestly so far one of my few favorite ones I've seen I haven't seen much but so far Ethel and I Alexandria are looking to be some fine hero hero heroes I don't know what to say after that but like I'm looking forward to get getting them for sure unfortunately that will be the end of this episode today in the next episode we are going to backtrack a little bit and do some housekeeping exploration get some few of the quest objective markers clear the maps from the previous area and then we will continue exploring the ray by flats and then progressing the story so don't expect the story progression to happen anytime soon i'm expecting the next few episodes to be nothing but exploration all right guys thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one